<laughs> Hello, welcome. Uh, this is gonna be a quick, about 10 minute guide on how to gear up in Wrath of the Lich King. So let's get started. Uh, first let me hide my, uh, where's my WoW window? Let me hide my login while I'm going in. You guys don't get to see it. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna open that back up. Yeah, I started ally. Uh, so we're gonna show you. I probably should mute the mute the game in a second. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. While we load in, uh, I'm gonna explain how it works. There are emblems. You get emblems per patch. Uh, so, Wrath of the Lich King Classic is going to be, you know, I'm really going to mute this, uh, this game sound, it's really loud. Um, okay, yeah, so you have emblems per patch based on the dungeons, bosses that you can kill, the dungeons that you're doing, the RDF Heroic gives you, uh, emblems that increase based on the patch. Uh, so, where's the sound? There we go. Okay, so we're going to turn the sound off. We are going to teleport back to Delarin and show you. So this is on the initial patch, so this is right before Naxxramas' release. Right? So, I'm only 3.3k gear score. I'm pretty much close to Biss uh, with pre-raid uh, gear uh, before Naxxramas. And the way you're going to be gearing up is you're going to be doing normal dungeons. You're going to try to get item level 200 gear. <coughs> Hopefully this uh, loads a little faster. There's a million people in Dellerin. You can see it's lagging like crazy. Uh, it's usually a slideshow in Dellerin. Wrath of the Lich King was not optimized. Hopefully the, the retail launch uh, has it where it's optimized. So it's much better than this. This is absolutely brutal. Anyways, uh, you can't even see the millions of people inside this uh, city, but there's like 12,000 players online. There's always like f at least four to 5,000 in Dellerin at all times. Like, look at all those players. It's ridiculous. <coughs> Anyways, we come up here for Horde. On the opposite side, you have the Alliance. Uh, there's the uh, vendors over there. I have to wait for the vendors to load. You have uh, Magistrix Lambrius and Magistrix Brassel. Um, essentially the same two vendors. These are the two vendors that you start with, right? Uh, when you come here, you're able to buy like regular blue gems with emblems of heroism. These are the initial starting emblems. You get uh, daily rewards in the dungeon finder. There's no, going to be no dungeon finder, and thank God for that in Retail Wrath, uh, in Retail Wrath of the Lich King. However, uh, essentially you're just going to be doing uh, dungeons, and every dungeon you do, you get uh, an emblem from each boss. <sighs> Can't even click on the damn NPC, that's how many people are here. Uh, so these give you your tier 10 chest piece and your tier 10 gloves, the gloves of the Lost Conqueror, chest guard of the Lost Conqueror, not tier 10, sorry, tier 7. I'm used to playing on patch, uh, I'm used to playing with uh, ICC gear. Uh, so essentially that would give me my chest and my gloves. Let me load. This is just awful. Jesus. Uh, chest gloves the chest drops from uh the four horsemen the gloves drop from sartharian and then uh like you could see here kelthazad would drop the helmet the shoulders would be dropped by the lothib and thaddeus would drop the pants right um you can buy them also from uh magister brasil right here librams and other items and this is all your offset gear. You don't really have too much gear available to you from these vendors. 
and this is pretty much all you have available. So you have to make do with what you can find in dungeons. Like I have uh, Azjul Narub's trinket right here, Essence of Grosamar. This is best in slot for tanks before uh, in uh, like the pre-patch before Naxxramas. Uh, so going into Naxxramas, you're going to want this trinket. I'm almost uh, defense capped. I have a decent amount of armor. I have a, a decent amount of hit rating. Obviously, I'm not hit capped because I'm missing a lot of stats. Uh, but, you know, you make do with what you got, and you try to gear up. So, like, I'm I'm using this this necklace right here. Where is it? This one. Uh, DPSers should always buy the Sundial and the Mirror of Truth. This will last you pretty much going through the entire, like, uh, the entire patch all the way to ICC. Like, you can use uh, Sundial and Mirror of Truth even in ICC, and these are better than the Emblem of Triumph uh, uh, trinkets, so you should definitely buy them. Some gear is quite useless, like this trinket right here. It gives you dodge and dodge rating active, whereas you can get a flat defense increase from the Loken trinket and the stamina health right there from the other trinket from the dungeons. So... Pay attention to the rewards here. This can replace your Titan Steel Shield. You don't need the Titan Steel Shield when you can buy this. Uh, and stuff like that. There's not too much, too many items that you can buy. There's a PvP set. It's the early on PvP set. And, it, I mean, it's just, you don't have too much available in the Heroism uh, vendor. However, if you can, get your hands on some Emblems of Valor. Uh, Emblems of Valor don't get released until uh, Naxxramas is released. Uh, obviously, we get the random Dungeon Finder Heroic uh, rewards, the two Emblems of Valor. So you can get almost 25 uh, Emblems of Valor, but you can't get much higher than that. So maybe somebody can have a cloak here or something, but that's about it. Uh, but as you can see, you get the, the Tier 7 legs and shoulders. And then there's a whole bunch of gear here. And then there's some PvP gear, the hateful gear. And that's about it for uh for Frost for Frostmourne, which is the server I'm playing on. Uh that's about it for the uh like the gear here. And then I'm gonna go and log over to the other server where Thelerin should be a little bit emptier. And it's so the server I just showed you is before Naxxramas is released. This server is going to be um, after like all the content is released, Ruby Sanctum, Ice, Ice Crown Citadel. And you're going to be gearing up by grabbing all the gear once you get to ICC. Of course, you can watch all my guides for uh, all of that. However, I'm going to be showing you the in-between patches. So Ulduar, uh, Ulduar, Trial of the Crusader, and then ICC last. Right? All of my guides cover the ICC patch, they do not cover TLC patch, and they do not cover the Old War patch. Drinking some orange juice. If y'all didn't know, orange juice is super healthy for you. It's bad for your teeth, but it's really, really healthy for the for your mental health, for your uh, well-being. Pretty much everything. It's just really good for you. Okay. So, waiting for these to load up. And then I'm going to show you. <coughs> it's going to take a minute. Okay. So, as you can see, Lambrius right there. Uh, Breast Sail right there. So, the Emblem of Valor stuff is still available. Even on an... Uh, even when you get to patch 3.3.5a. Uh, the patches are going to start at 3.3.5a. And the content is going to be released quarterly. Uh, so you're going to have uh, like Naxxramas, Obsidian Sanctum, and uh, Vault of Archivon being released all in the, the beginning of it. And then uh, after that it's going to be Old War. Then it's going to be TOC and uh, Onyxia. And then finally it's going to be ICC, Ruby Sanctum, and all that other stuff. Um, 
so after you get Magister uh, Brazel, you get Magister Sarian. This is gonna this guy is gonna be released during the Old War patch. Uh, these are gonna be the emblems you get from Old War bosses. Uh, I believe Magister Bracial will give you, um, <clears throat> not Magister Bracial, Dungeons will give you Emblems of Valor when Old War is dropped, so you can get this gear much easier. Uh, this, like, all of these, these Emblems of Valor are only available in Ramis during the initial patch, right? So the first quarter, you can only get the current tier, tier set emblems, so you can only get Emblems of Conquest during the Old War patch. So all this gear you have to get from getting, uh, um, Old War done, and then you get your, like, you get your crown, you get your chest, and whatnot. So you get all your gear from the raid itself, and offset pieces from here, from this vendor, and you can get all your gear from this vendor, right? Uh, with Emblems of Conquest, then you're doing dungeons and you're gearing up and getting stuff to get into Old War by grabbing all of this stuff, right? So this is your 213 gear, so most players are going to have item level 213 gear going into Old War, and then they're going to do Old War, and they're going to get item level 226 gear uh, by getting the Emblem of Conquest rewards. Uh, and that's the same thing. So, you start off farming Emblems of Heroism in dungeons, gearing up, then you go and you use your dungeon gear plus Emblem of Heroism gear to go and do, uh, Naxxramas, Obsidian Sanctum, and, uh, Vault of Archivon. Uh, Archivon himself on the initial patch, then you go up to Old War, you get your Emblems of Conquest, you get all your Emblems of Conquest gear, and uh, you you do dungeons for any missing Emblem of Valor gear to help uh, boost you up while you're doing Old War. After you get through Old War and uh, the following patch is released, then you're going to have emblem or Emblems of Triumph. This is Trial of the Crusade. Most of my guides in my videos uh, include Emblem of Triumph gear. This is the tier 9 set. This is the gear that you use preparing for Ice Crown Citadel anyways. So... <coughs> Yeah, during the Trial of the Crusader patch, you're going to be doing uh, Old War and Naxxramas and whatnot to get this previous gear to help you gear up for Trial of the Crusader. But you should be able to get uh, Emblem of Conquest gear from, um, like from Dungeons. So you would get Emblems of Conquest from Dungeons while Trial of the Crusader is released. And then you would use that gear from uh, the Emblem of Conquest Quartermaster plus your Tier 8 set uh, to go and go into Trial of the Crusader and gear up and get your Tier 9 set. And then having a proper Tier 9 set will definitely prepare you ahead of time for the Ice Crown Citadel patch and the Ruby Sanctum patch. <coughs> That is surely to come afterwards. So you would get uh you would get geared up, and uh, you would get all of this stuff. There's really nice items like the rings. Um, there are these hit trinkets that you definitely should not buy. Do not buy Marcus Supremacy. Do not buy Shard of the Crystal Heart. Absolutely dreadful. Um, these these two trinkets actually are decent if you can maximize the hit rating and not go over your hit cap. But the the active is worse than the proc trinkets, which are every like you proc ten seconds on banner of victory or something, and it gives you a ten second proc and it has a forty five second uh cooldown. They proc pretty much instantly, so they have a four out of not like four out of eighteen like uptime, versus these hit trinkets having a three out of eighteen uptime. So the uptime on those trinkets is much better. Anyways, you still have PvP gear, the Furious set. This is an introductory uh, PvP set. Then after that, once you finally get an ICC, you have all this uh, Frost Emblem gear. Most of this is just offset gear. You want to get your tier 10 set, and then you get some of these items to help you gear up along the way once you're in ICC. If you haven't watched my guides, they all take place on the Ruby Sanctum Ice Crown Citadel patches. Um, if you got any questions about the Ice Crown Citadel patch, I can answer them. I can answer most of your questions regarding any of the patches in Wrath of the Lich King. However, uh, I am most familiar with the final patch. Um, and I can also answer questions about all the previous patches as well. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much what you're going to be doing. You're going to go Emblem of Heroism Farming and get geared up. 
do do raids get your emblem of valor gear do raids get your emblem of conquest gear do raids uh do trial of the crusader emblem of triumph gear emblem of triumph do raids get your uh, icc gear and dungeons are always going to provide the previous uh tier set of the emblems so emblem of heroism when you're farming valor emblem of valor when you're farming conquest or not farming but doing raids for conquest right uh doing doing uh Emblems of Conquest during the Trial of the Crusader patch and whatnot up to ICC. Uh, so that's essentially how gearing up is going to be in um, Wrath of the Lich King. And remember, like I said, RDF Heroic, you're going to be doing dungeons for uh, your best in slot gear. So the Oculus, you know, this dreadful dungeon right here actually is going to be quite useful at the beginning. You're going to get a armor armor ring right here if you're a tank. You're going to get a uh, one-handed weapon there. Uh, there's going to be these tank pants. Well, actually, it's just hit rating pants, but pretty useful for a tank. You got, like, this pendulum of telluric uh, currents. And then uh, you also have a whole bunch of gear here. Tank pants, like, uh, spell power haste pants here. Catch of the Lay Guardian gives you two, uh, two emblems. Uh, I think if you save these up, like, you, you get, like, uh, one of these per day. So, you get three months before Old War. <coughs> and, uh, so you get three months before Old War. That's, like, 18 weeks. You do daily. Uh, it's, like, 18 times 7. You can get, like, a ton of these, right? Say you got, like, 150 of these in your bank. And then you just take them all out during the Old War patch and you open them up, right? They, they would give you, uh, Emblems of Valor instead of heroism something like that i'm not sure if they they move along to the current tier patch uh but yeah there's a ton of gear in all these dungeons uh that you're gonna be like farming to prepare for next ramus so definitely take advantage of uh of the dungeons and gear up uh titan steel so for crafting you're gonna generally have some craftable gear uh but the way the gear works is the the gear that you can make is up to a certain patch right <clears throat> so all of this gear there is no there was no gear dropped in uh nax ramus so uh titan steel is pretty much the best you can you can purchase and make in uh the nax ramus patch and then once old war drops there is all the item level 226 gear that you can see right here all of this is available in the old war patch and then once you get the Trial of the Crusader, you have the 245 gear right here. This is all available. Um, and then once we get into Ice Crown Citadel, this is a 264 gear. And this is all available in Ice Crown Citadel. And a lot of the gear that you can purchase is uh, best in the slot in Ice Crown Citadel. Not a lot, but it's it, it lasts forever. Uh, the Pillars of Might are pretty much best in the slot, so you can just purchase those. Those are going to be worth a fortune uh, on the initial release. But uh, Old War gives you belts and boots, right? Uh, Charlotte Crusader gives you bracers and chest pieces. Um, yeah, bracers and chest pieces, and ICC gives you boots and pants. Uh, so that's how, that's how uh, those raid releases are going to be. And I'm pretty sure it's the same thing for, for tailoring. So as you can see, I'm not going to ditch out tailoring. Same thing, boots and pants, belts. Uh, Not belts, but yeah. Boots, pants, old war boots right there. Gloves, uh, pants, whatnot. I mean, not gloves, uh, bracers. So each each, each profession has their, has their own thing. Um, not quite sure how Blizzard is going to release uh, like everything. But you've got like the the scrolls being in Rune Scroll of Fortitude from Inscription, so there's consumables and scrolls and gems. Uh, the epic gems are probably not going to be available at the start of the expansion. Uh, blah 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 blah. You know, it, it's going to release as they release it. Uh, so all of this is speculation, obviously, because there's no uh, there's no guarantee that I'm going to control what Blizzard does. Blizzard is going to follow my every command, and you know I'm the head chief of Blizzard. No, I'm not. I'm just some dude making a YouTube video. So remember, this is all speculation. This is all based on what uh, what I know, how I know the expansion works, and how uh, Blizzard is 
pretty much like like the the rumors and statements that Blizzard's uh, gonna be releasing the content, right? Uh, Blizzard could also decide, you know, instead of going 3.3.5a, like they they were saying in some of these articles and whatnot that I've been reading, instead of re releasing the content. Uh, on 3.3.5, they can release the content as it was in the previous time, so during the patch, and instead of dropping all the emblems and whatnot, because they already said that they're not putting in Dungeon Finder, uh, so instead of having your RDF heroic rewards, like, how are you going to have your, your dungeons, uh, reward people, and how are people going to get emblems, you know, maybe you can get two emblems and two items instead of one item and one emblem, uh, something like that, you know, so, uh, <clears throat> Who knows what they're going to do, but this is all speculation. Uh, hopefully, I helped you out with uh, the gearing process and how to gear up. Um, a lot of people had absolutely no clue how to gear up. And they were like, what the hell do I do on uh, Frostmourne when Frostmourne released? That's this uh, server on Warman. Uh, Frostmourne pretty much uh, made everybody confused. They were like, wow, this is all new content. But it's really just the same old content being released in waves. Um but yeah, it's pretty much the exact same thing Frostmourne is happening now is the way that Blizzard's going to be releasing the content on Retail Wrath. Uh, so that's how you're going to gear up. You're going to start with dungeons and like uh, dungeons, consumables, and enchants and gems. And then you're going to go and do next and uh, Old War, then uh, Anixia, and Trial of the Crusader, then ICC, Ruby Sanctum. And you're going to be fully geared up. Alright, so I think I covered pretty much everything and I touched all the bases. Uh, if you liked the video, like and subscribe. Don't forget to smile. Thank you for watching the video. And as always, have a splendid day. Goodbye.